have Trisha Helfer here with me today. I'm a huge fan. I'm so excited to be sitting next to her. Um, okay, so I keep up with your official website. And oh, I, thank you. I love that you have so much content. There's so many videos for the fans to watch. And I want to know why it's so important for you to stay in touch with your fans. Well, y your fans are the reason you keep working and, and uh, you know help help the producers want to book you on things yeah. and, and stuff like that and so if if it wasn't for the fans we mm -hmm. wouldn't be here right yeah um, but you know with with the website I think it's just it's fun to do little videos mm -hmm. here and there and, yeah. and add on uh, content when you're you know between shows mm -hmm. and things yeah great <laughs> was it more fun to do the imaginary role or the, the the imaginary character or the real character and which one was more challenging for you I think it, I think it was more fun to do the real mm -hmm. characters uh, because the imaginary character while she was fun for a while yeah. it got a little bit limiting because yeah. she didn't really have her own storyline mm -hmm. and it got it, that was more challenging in the way uh, that trying to make it fresh and trying to make it new because every director would come in and go, okay, well, how do we, <laughs> how does she appear out of nowhere? Mm -hmm. and, and you try and make make uh, cuts that are easier, f so you don't have to actually do the, use the expensive cameras and the exactly. motion capture and things like that. So I'd be hiding under a desk and trying to <laughs> pop up when the camera went away and came back and. So it got challenging in the way of how do we make that fresh? How do we keep yeah. it going without it being monotonous? Okay, great. And um, so in the beginning of Battlestar Galactica, there was some hesitation as to whether or not you could play such a difficult role. And how did you keep faith in yourself and keep going in the beginning? Well, I had faith in myself. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it was, I'd only been acting for a year, so mm -hmm. it was more, they didn't have faith in me. Exactly. They, you know, the, the producers and the writers. Uh, it, you know, they took a big leap of faith to to cast me in it, um, and and then once they started giving me more storylines and that sort of thing, yeah. and, and seeing that I could handle it, then you, they, you know, they, I'd get emails from them going, "That was great, that was great." You know, so it was it was more, uh, it, it was nice for me to be able to show that, you know, that I did deserve yeah. the storylines. And you and Katie Sackoff are friends. Yes, and we're very good friends. Can you tell me about the actor, Actors Outlaws, the charity you guys worked on? Yeah, well, Acting Outlaws is, is actually a company that Katie and I started. So it's called Acting Outlaws, Acting if you Outlaws. want to check it out. Yes, okay, actingoutlaws.org. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, it's, uh, it's a company that Katie and I started. Mm -hmm. And the charity ride that we just we did in the fall for the Golf Restoration mm -hmm. Network um, is something that it's it's our show, our ride, and we're we're actually making a documentary out of it. Mm -hmm. We're in the final stages of editing. And it. what's that called? Uh, right, right now it doesn't have a name. Oh, okay, we're, we're just, so we just need to be looking out for it then. Yes, we're okay. we're actually going to try and shop it around to the networks to see right. if we can get it on air. And first. did you ride your lavender motorcycle in that? I didn't. No, no? BMW loaned us bikes. Oh, okay, great. And so, I also have my motorcycle license. Oh, you do. So I, I love what you said about how you got sick of riding on the back of your husband's motorcycle, and you should have your own. Yes. So I totally agree. <laughs> yeah, you know, I love a lot it. of feel, women feel that they mm -hmm. can't ride, and, yeah. and it's just about finding the bike that's right for you and Absolutely. taking the, you know, learning how to ride mm -hmm. and, and being safe. And um, also, you do charity work with animals, right? I do. Is yes. there a way that we can find out more about that? Well, I d most of the charity work that I do is just really kind of trying to partake in in uh, you know events when they're around Los Angeles mm -hmm. that I have, and and on my own website, trishahelfer.com. I, my shop section where I sell things, pictures, autographed pictures, okay. and some memorabilia from shows and things like that. All the profits, 100% of the profits, wow. go to animal charities. Oh, that's great. We had some so, fans in line. They were wondering how legit that was, what percentage went. So they'll be so happy to hear 100% of the profits go towards yes. these. Okay, great. That's wonderful. Thank you so much for being Thank with you. us today. I really appreciate it. Thank you. So have fun. I will. You too. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>